most people fail when it comes to lose weight. They are not patient enough. Before they see results, they already get frustrated and then give up altogether. Also because they maybe started too restrictive, you know, they cut everything out that they love, follow a super boring diet and do these extreme workouts and then they don't see immediate results and then they quit and then start the cycle again and again. So the only thing you need to lose weight is to be in a calorie deficit. And the way you get into a calorie deficit is by either eating less or exercising more. Or, which is the best way, is to combine both. And we don't want to do anything extreme here because the more extreme we are with our weight loss, the more likely it is that you will gain your weight back. If your maintenance calories are around 2000 and you're gonna drop them drastically to 1200 calories, let's say, you're gonna be very hungry and maybe you can do this for a couple of weeks, but chances are either that you're gonna lose weight and then gain it back immediately or gain even more immediately. There are so many studies where it shows that people usually don't keep their weight off or you're just gonna starve and end up in a very restrictive binge cycle. That's not what we want. We want to eat, we want to enjoy our food, right? And we also want to work out and then by combining both we want to lose some weight. What you need to do is there are a lot of calorie calculators and I'm also going to explain a method where you don't have to count calories in a minute if you don't want to do that because I totally get it. It is super super toxic so bear with me. If you want to count calories you can calculate your maintenance calories on the internet where you put in your age, your height, your weight and then they will Will give you a maintenance calorie and then you're just gonna eat 100 or 200 calories less. If you don't want to count calories you obviously totally don't have to. It is just a little bit more of an accurate way. I feel like I have a very good overview of what I'm eating. I don't need to count my calories but it helps me a little bit. Like let's say I've been gaining weight for a long time. I've been eating a lot of calories for a long time. So in the beginning I was like okay maybe let me track a little bit here and there just to make sure that I'm on my goal. You can also totally do this without calorie counting. You can just eat a little bit less. What does it mean? Number one, you can just eat a meal less, which if you're eating three meals a day, this is probably not an option, but I was eating five meals a day before that and for me it was very easy to say, okay, I'm only gonna eat four times a week and four times a week. <laughs> I'm only gonna eat four times a day instead of five times five times a day. You can make a little bit smaller portions. You can also swap certain things out. For example, I always had like a protein shake and then I had protein in my oats. I just leave out the protein and I'm eating automatically less without really noticing it or having a little bit less peanut butter. Uh, just a little bit. I don't say starve yourself, but you know what I mean? You just eat a little bit less and make sure that you're really eating whole foods. Simply by that, you will probably lose weight. You won't have to adapt that much and focus more on your body what it's telling you because if you're in a calorie deficit you're gonna be a little bit more hungry than usual I mean you shouldn't be starving all day <laughs> because you're gonna go crazy but you're gonna be a little bit more hungry than usual so this is for me the indicator of I don't have to count my calories all the time which I don't because it's just honestly it's just too much work I don't want to do it but I make sure that I don't you know overeat let's talk about working out if you don't work out at all this is gonna help you probably a lot if you just start working out and moving your body whatever that is for you I personally love to go to the gym the gym and lifting weights is amazing Not not only for losing weight but also to tone up your body but you totally don't have to lift weights just for losing weight. I think the gym and lifting weights is great for having nice arms, a nice stomach, nice legs and a booty. It's gonna make your whole body just look amazing pretty much if you're lifting weights but that's just for me. Like I said you totally don't need to do that if you don't want to go to the gym. You can lose weight only by being in a calorie deficit which just means by eating less. Like food is gonna determine everything. I personally work out four times a week usually. Actually at the moment I'm only working out two to three times a week because I'm just super busy and I don't have more time than that. And what you can also do is implement more cardio into your sessions. Doing an incline walk on the treadmill, going on the Stairmaster, I don't know, do some sprints, whatever cardio you like. But in saying that, totally not necessary. All you can do is just increase your daily steps and go on walks. Even if you don't have a dog, you can go on a walk on your own, listen to some music, listen to nature, listen 
listen to a podcast. Walking is so nice, especially also for your mental health, just to get out of the house and get some nice fresh air in. Back to working out when it comes to the gym. Also something you can do is to do more supersets, which I think can be quite fun for a while. <laughs> you know, doing two exercises back to back without any rest. So much on the working out part, it's definitely not gonna be the biggest factor of how much weight you're gonna lose. It's more of like toning up and you know, making it a little bit more easy for you to be in a calorie deficit. The most important thing when it comes to losing weight is being in a calorie deficit by eating less than you burn. Obviously, we don't want to starve all day and we don't want to eat super boring stuff, you know, like plain salads and chicken with rice. We still kind of want to enjoy our food, right? Find food that you enjoy. I personally enjoy oats for my breakfast, but maybe you're more of an egg type. I personally like to look up recipes on Instagram where there are already calories included because the easiest way for me, I don't have to put anything into any app. I search for recipes on Instagram. Now I get so many suggested anyway because I <laughs> I love watching food videos, okay? I love watching recipe videos on Instagram and then I have an entire collection of recipes that I love to remake and recipes I enjoy and new, and new recipes I want to try to keep it exciting. How does food keep you more full? So one thing that keeps you full and also burns more calories is protein. Because your body takes a lot longer to digest protein than like carbs or fats. And this is also very important if you're going to the gym or you have been going to the gym for a while and you build muscle and you don't want to lose your muscles, which is super easy with protein shakes. I always have a protein shake after my workout. You can also put your protein powder into your oats or into your yogurt. What I also really like for protein is Greek yogurt and then, you know, stuff like chicken or tofu or, you know, the typical protein stuff pretty much. I personally don't cut out carbs when I want to lose weight. I might just maybe eat a little bit less of them. Like I like to eat a little bit more potatoes and sweet potatoes because I feel like they, they fill me up in such a good way and they're so low in calories. When I'm making myself like pasta or rice, I just eat a little bit smaller portions than I would usually eat. Another thing that I really like to do is to keep me full is to eat high volume food. What does it mean? To to eat food that looks like it is a lot, like for example lettuce, but it actually doesn't have any calories. So I love to load up my plates with lettuce, cucumbers, bell peppers, broccoli, um, red cabbage. No, <laughs> not cabbage. Red beets. I love red beets. Oh my gosh, they're so good. So I love to find food where I can put a lot on my table. On my table. The focus is not here today, can you tell? I like to put on a lot of veggies and other stuff like that where it looks like I have a lot of my plate, but it's actually not that much. Which, like I said, not that you should starve yourself, but just, you know, that your plate looks fuller. Your eyes are more satisfied if they have a full plate and not like a tiny portion. You look at it and you're like, oh my gosh, this is all I can eat right now. Another very important thing when it comes to losing weight is to plan your meals and your snacks. <laughs> Planning your meals is so, 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 so crucial because you always want to know what you're about to eat. You don't want to be super hungry and then have no idea what you want to eat because then you're tending to, you know, order food, grab some McDonald's or stuff like that. I personally love to meal prep because then I already have it cooked. I don't have to do anything else. I take my food, eat it, that's it. But you totally don't have to meal prep if you don't want it. I totally get it if meal prepping is not for you. But at least make sure that you get your groceries and that you plan your meals throughout the week and also have something ready to snack because it will happen that between between meals you're gonna be hungry okay and some days we're also more hungry than on other days so if that ever happens you're like oh my gosh I'm starving and I still want to wait until dinner have healthy snacks ready so my favorite snacks are bananas or I mean not apples I, I give this as a recommendation but I'm not the biggest apple fan I also don't want to chop them and I love having these little protein yogurts at home I don't care if they're not the healthiest okay I really do not care they have a lot of protein they're low in fat and everything whatever maybe they have a little bit artificial whatever in there. I do not care because it makes sure that I keep on track of my goals. What I also really have been obsessed lately is grapes and kiwis and then I just put it into my yogurt or I just eat it like that. So having some sort of snack at home ready to grab when, when you're at work is gonna do a lot instead of grabbing a chocolate bar. Not that chocolate is bad, okay? You can still obviously have your chocolate but you don't want to be having a Snickers every day for example. Then 
be like, oh my gosh, why am I not losing weight? Because you know, little things like that add up. On that note, if you feel like you are not losing weight, maybe you are not tracking everything, which means maybe you're snacking in between and don't track that. Let's say you have a Snickers, you don't track it. Let's say you have, I don't know, a spoon of Nutella, you don't track it. Things like that add up and then you might be eating healthy all the time and you're still wondering, oh my gosh, why am I not losing any weight? Maybe because you're not tracking everything you're eating. Also, maybe you're overindulging on the weekends, which can, which happens to me, not gonna lie. But if you eat healthy throughout the entire week and then you just explode on the weekend, um, maybe you won't lose weight as fast, I would say. I personally do eat my pizza or stuff like that on the weekend, um, but I don't eat like unhealthy all day. I have still my healthy breakfast and then I might have the pizza in the evening, you know? So I eat unhealthy stuff on the weekend. Always, always, I will never stop doing that. <laughs> and I like to go out with friends. Okay, I don't really go out ever, but in summer I'm gonna go out with friends again more. Have your treats on the weekend or whenever you want, but make sure it's not like too much because obviously then you're not gonna lose weight because you're not gonna be in a calorie deficit anymore. Also, be aware of sneaky foods. Like for example, sometimes you might think something is healthy. Hummus, for example. I love hummus, but hummus can add up very quickly with calories or having a Starbucks or I don't know maybe you put too much oil or butter I don't want this to get toxic like please eat all of those foods I don't want to you know scare anyone I just want to make you aware that sometimes there are very hidden calories in certain foods also maybe um, if you grab your salad out and about maybe they have a dressing that has like so many calories and you're like oh my gosh I'm eating a salad every day why am I not losing weight just for example don't be afraid of food but be aware that sometimes there can be hidden calories where you think you're eating healthy but it just adds up very quickly. Daily habits that I like to do which help me to lose weight which is something I already touched on. Number one, walking. Very effective. Number two, drinking water. Sometimes you might be thirsty and not hungry so make sure that you're drinking your water. Sleeping. I'm not a good example for that because I don't sleep enough but <laughs> Coffee and Coke Zero. I love to have a coffee here and there to suppress my appetite a little bit. Not starve myself, but suppress my appetite a little bit. And I also like to have Coke Zero because I feel like when I have sweet cravings, especially after lunch, my Coke Zero helps a lot. Something that I also like to do is romanticize my weight loss. I always thought, you know, losing weight is of something toxic and bad, but it can also be such a great journey because you do feel better if you accomplish your goals, if you eat healthy, if you go to the gym, if you actually see the results and you're actually losing weight. We love that, we love that. Why not? Why? It doesn't always have to be toxic and bad. And if you wanna keep the weight off, you obviously have to make these things your habit. Like you cannot do all of this stuff and then go back to your old habits. I will never stop going to the gym, for example, and I have a certain way of eating that I will always follow. I don't feel restricted because I enjoy how I eat now. You know, back in the day I was just eating whatever random stuff came to my mind and nothing wrong with that. If you want to do that, please go for it. But now I like to have balanced meals with protein and carbs and fats and I feel so much better since I started going to the gym and eating healthy and balanced meals. I love it and I will continue to do it. And once I don't want to lose any weight, all I'm gonna do is just eat a little bit more again. But you have to really nail your habits and do these habits for a lifetime. You know, you don't want to go back to eating fast food seven days a week. I mean, that's not gonna work. Then you're not gonna keep the weight off, then you're gonna gain it back again. You have to change your daily habits in order to keep the weight off. That doesn't mean that you have to eat boring meals. That doesn't mean that you have to kill yourself at the gym. It just means that you eat balanced meals that actually give you energy and that you go to the gym, which also gives you energy. So everything's amazing and you can still go out and eat your favorite food. You can still eat pizza and pasta and all of that, which is the best part about it. I mean, we're looking fit we're healthy and we can eat our favorite food. I mean, that's amazing. Why would we want to do that? I also have an entire video where I talk about how I eat whatever I want without gaining weight. And I have another video where I talk about how I still enjoy my life while being fit. Because I feel like this is such a big fear when you're like, I want to be fit, but I also want to go out with friends and enjoy my favorite foods, you know? Which is totally understandable. I mean, we all want to do that, right? Tracking our progress. You can either take photos, you can weigh yourself on the scale, 
or you can measure yourself or all three of them. I personally don't measure myself because I don't want to and I love taking progress pictures even though I don't take as many of them as I should but pictures are gonna tell you so much, so much more than a scale could ever do so please take your photos because in a couple of weeks or months you won't notice your day-to-day -day changes and then you will forget how you looked before but if you look at the photos you're gonna see how much your body has changed and you're gonna be proud of you and you want to keep going. I also like to weigh myself because I feel like I like seeing the scale going down, it motivates me, but I don't want to be too toxic about it. When it comes to the scale, it can be so weird. Especially the first time I was ever losing weight, I remember that the first thing that happened to me after eating less and decreasing my calories was that I was gaining weight. And I was like, oh my gosh, how can I gain weight? I've been eating so good. So number one is don't be afraid if you gain weight. Then the second thing is I don't lose weight immediately. I feel like I am at the same weight and then after two weeks I lose a kilo which I don't know if there's any science behind it I just want to make you aware maybe if you have the same problem the scale is not that accurate but it will go down if you're losing weight but don't be discouraged if it doesn't go too much down because the scale shouldn't be your entire measurement thingy you should look yourself in the mirror and be happy and with that I feel like progress pictures are also so helpful because what I also fell into was I was losing so much weight and I was never happy no matter how much weight I was losing and then I was at a plateau where I was like okay now I'm not losing any weight anymore and I still wasn't happy when I look now at these pictures where I still wanted to lose weight I'm like why did I want to lose weight I was already so skinny the whole message behind it is don't rely too much on the scale because there will also be a plateau take your progress pictures because then you will see how your waist gets smaller your stomach gets flatter and stuff like that you will see that on photos more than you will see it on a scale Okay, my camera overheated, so I'm not sure where I was finishing. But even if you lose weight and you know the scale is going down, you will still find ways to not like your body. And the reason is, and I'm calling myself out on that because I've been guilty of this lately a lot, and that is we go on social media and we look at pictures of other people <laughs> and they are taking their photos in a good light. They're posing. Posing makes such a big difference. And maybe they take them in the morning where, where they haven't eaten anything. And I'm guilty of that myself too because I have pictures of myself where I'm like, oh my gosh, why was I so skinny there? And my stomach looks amazing. And yeah, because I took them in the morning and I posed. You also get bloated or I get bloated. So of course, sometimes, especially when I eat a lot, I feel like a little bit you know like I'm a little bit more than I actually am which is totally fine this is also a reminder for myself to not spend too much time on social media obsess over other people's body and be more occupied with my own body I like to find people that are like similar to my body shape because you know sometimes I get into just traps where I see like super skinny people and I love it and I'm not shaming anybody but then I see girls that are more curvy and you know that have more muscles and stuff like that and I absolutely love it and I actually have a similar body to them I'm like why can I not love it on myself because I feel like when I have a little bit more weight I'm not super super skinny which I am not I've never been um, of course you have a little bit of a stomach and you have stomach rolls and stuff like that and then when you look in the mirror you look not super skinny or I don't know how to explain it but when you're posed it actually looks really good and do I make any sense? I hope I do. I hope you know what I mean with that. Thing is, we need to love our body even though it gets bloated and we're not super posed and we don't have a flat stomach 24-7. Nobody has actually. And we need to remind ourselves because social media is not a good way of doing that because we compare ourselves to bodies that are posed. And before you're losing all hope, losing weight will take time. And I am someone who is super impatient, like very, very, very impatient, okay? Losing weight doesn't happen overnight so if you eat healthy whole foods if you are in a calorie deficit and if you're working out or not your choice but if you are in a calorie deficit for long enough you are going to lose weight and you are going to get the results you just have to be patient and I know this is the worst part about losing weight but this is also where most people fail when it comes to lose weight they are not patient enough before they see your results they already get frustrated and then give up altogether also because they maybe started too restrictive you know they cut everything out that they love and they feel like they have to follow a super boring diet and do these extreme workouts and then they don't see immediate results and then they quit and then start the cycle again and again and we don't want to do that 
said, right? We wanna eat our favorite food, enjoy working out, lose the weight because we're gonna be consistent, right? And then keep it off because we built very good habits. <laughs> so these were my best tips for losing weight. I really hope this helped anybody. If you wanna lose some weight, don't be too hard on yourself when it comes to lose weight. I feel like we still wanna enjoy our lives, right? We still wanna go out in summer, have drinks, have food with our friends and look good and we can have both. Please subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more videos about working out and food and give the video a like if you enjoyed it so that more people can find this video. And other than that, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!